Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I've got quite a few um, videos that I'm going to be making for you, but the first one that I'm going to do is I'm making a big pot of northern beans. This is two pounds of northern beans. I've got four cups of water in there. I'm going to put four more cups of water in here. And what I'm doing with this is I've already gone through the beans, made sure there was no rocks or dirt or anything in there. And <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is put them on my New Wave induction cooktop. I'm going to put it on sear and then start it. And I'm going to let these come up to a boil. This is the quick way of making um, beans. So, like I said, I'm going to let this come up to a boil. I'll let it boil for two minutes, and then I'm going to turn the heat off, cover these up, and then let them sit for an hour. And after that, when I get to that part, I'll bring you back. All right, here's my great northern beans. They've been sitting um, with the top on them in hot water for an hour. And now I'm going to rinse them off, take them over to the sink, rinse them off in water, and make sure that all of that soaking liquid is off of them. And when I get back to over here, I'll bring you back and show you what else I'm going to do. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to turn these beans up on sear, maximum sear, bring them up to a boil. Um... I've rinsed them off, I've drained them, I've filled them back up with um, clean water, and now I have this Smithfield salted, sliced salted pork. I hope you can see that, yeah. And I'm going to get out two or three pieces of that and put it in these beans. And I hope these beans don't do me like pinto beans do because I love pinto beans, but homemade pinto beans tear my stomach up. So I'm, I don't know how, how these northern beans will do. I haven't fixed them in a long time, but I wish it was pinto beans. All right, so here's the little slices of the... Um, I call it fat back. <laughs> so I'm going to put like three slices. Now I'm going to do four. Four slices in here. All right. There's the four. All right. And now I'm going to put um. I guess about a tablespoon of kosher salt because this is two pounds of great northern beans so got to have some salt in there and then I'm going to put a tablespoon of pepper and this is coarse ground pepper and I love pepper I mean I <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if we didn't have pepper in this world. <laughs> of course, if I didn't know about it, it wouldn't bother me. But now that I know about it, it would bother me. All right, so now I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to let this come up to a boil. And then I'll put the top on it. And I'll turn the heat down on my uh, new wave to medium. Now it's up on maximum sear to bring it to a boil. And then I'll turn it down to medium which is 275 on mine, and I may even go lower than that if it keeps boiling um, pretty hard. But when these get done, I will bring you back. You can see them. They're, they look delicious. They look like they're going to be delicious. It's been a long time since I've fixed any northern beans, so we'll see. But I'll bring you back when they get done.
Okay, I'm back. My beans are done. They're very, very hot, but I've already fixed the bowl. And you can see there's my cornbread. I fixed some cornbread. And I love beans and cornbread. I love it. It's My grandmother used to fix it for me, and they called it mush. <laughs> I just call it good food. <laughs> So I've got my great northern beans in here with some cornbread. You can see the steam coming off of them. Um, and the juice from the beans. And I'm going to take a bite of them. You can see that it's got a lot of pepper in them. So I'm going to take a bite of them and let you know. Oh my gosh. They are, they are delicious. I haven't fixed northern beans in such a long time, and I don't know why. Because these are just as good with cornbread as pinto beans are. And there's my cornbread. I've got a couple recipes on here uh, for cornbread. I'll put the link in here. But here's my beans with the cornbread and I, the I put in one tablespoon of salt, and that is perfect. And the pepper has given them a really good kick. Mm. These are so, oh my gosh, they are cooked perfect. I cooked them for about two hours on, um, well, you can see they're on 175. I just cut them down to 175. But once they started boiling on my new wave, I kicked it down to medium, and they still were boiling pretty heavily. So I put it down to 190, and I left them there for two hours. And you can see there's still a lot of juice in them. Oh, these are going to be so good. But anyway... There's my recipe for great northern beans, cooking them. And I had four pieces of fat back or pork loin or I'm not, no, I don't even know what it was called now. I just call it fat back. Salted pork. But um, that's, here it is. They're amazing. You got to give this a try. Fix your cornbread and get you some beans. And if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this with everyone on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest, um, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.